What is going on guys? It is Trifecta J here with episode 7 of my Braves franchise. Going with a trade just like the Dodgers trade I did. This is the exact same trade as what happened in real life. And Bronson Arroyo will be out for 2-3 to three months with surgery. So really the biggest pickup from this trade was Tuki Toussaint. And he is a very talented pitching prospect who could definitely develop into something nice. After trading away Phil Gosselin, we're going to call up Pedro Siriaco, add him to the 40-man roster. And also, because of acquiring two players for one, we have to release someone. And it ended up just being one of our outfielders who is at a lower position and just really wasn't going to play that much. Or it really was not going to develop anything. Then Matt Caps, this is another trade for Will Nieves. And that is mainly to give us another option at catcher. We'll see why in a second. Also going to call up Mike Fultonevich and bring down one of our pitchers. Fulton Evich is one of our best prospects and he has played so well in AAA, a 1-3-8 ERA, leading AAA in strikeouts by I believe about 40 strikeouts or somewhere along there, an absolute crazy amount. And also going to be sending Christian Betancourt down. He has really struggled so far hitting the ball and I do not want to see him really regress too much in his potential. So it just seemed like a safe thing, send him back down to AAA, get him set bats down there, not have to split anything with AJ Brzezinski. But in this game, we're going to be taking on the Milwaukee Brewers in Game 3 of 4 of this series. Mike fulton will be making his Braves debut, not his MLB debut. But as a Brave, this would be his first time ever pitching for us. Hopefully he has a nice outing. Starting off against Carlos Gomez, the first pitch of his Braves career is a strike up in the zone. Now a 1-2 count against Gomez. Pitch is away and it is hit to Freeman. Got to get to first quickly, and he does for the first out of the inning. Mike fulton a look at his scouting report. His fastball can get up to 98, maybe even a little bit higher. A knuckle curve, changeup, and two-seam fastball to go along with that. Now a 3-0 count fulton -Evich. Pitch is away, and it's called a ball. That was definitely inside of the strike zone, so Segura will take his base. Now Ryan Braun is up. It is hit to Freeman. He will go to first, takes the easy out. Maybe had a chance for a double play. 0-2 count for Aramis Ramirez and the strikeout for Mike fulton -Evich. A big pitch. Now we look at our lineup. Jace Peterson hitting leadoff with Cameron Maven in the two-hole. Freeman hitting fourth as the cleanup. Going against Matt Garza. 3-6 ERA, 50 innings. So far in eight games, a 2-3 and three record. Jace Peterson with a 2-2 count pitches away, and it is hit down the line. It stays fair. So Peterson's got us off to a nice start. He will go to second and will be a stand-up double as the throw's not in time. Now Cameron Maven up an 0-1 count. It is hit right to the shortstop. Throw is in time to first base, and Maven is the first out of the inning. Nick Markakis up. He hits that one to the shortstop. A similar play as the Cameron Maven out. So two outs on the inning. Freddie Freeman up. He has been so hot so far this year. And he's got another RBI. His 26th on the season. Not only has he done a good job hitting, he's already drawn 24 walks so far on the season. The ball is hit to third. And it goes to second for the final out of the inning. Juan Uribe couldn't tack on anything to the lead. Fulton Evich out for his second inning on the day. And that one is hit to left field. The shift was on. So Kelly Johnson has to go a long way for this ball. Throws it in, but Adam Lind is into second base with a double. Now still no out. Scooter Gannett up, and he hits that one to Juan Uribe. He will throw that one to Freeman for the first out on the inning. Jonathan Lucroy up, and the pitch is hit. It's a slow roller. Bolton Evich is there. He fires to first base, and that's the second out on the inning, but the runner advances to third base. Chris Davis up. And fulton -Evich leaves that one hanging. And Davis crushes that one out. Mark Agus goes back, but he couldn't get to it. It was way out of here. A 2-1 to one lead for the Milwaukee Brewers. Now into the top of the third. That ball is hit down the right field line. Mark Agus in pursuit up to the wall. He fires it in quickly, but that's a no-out double. And now Gene Segura up once more. The pitch is away. It is hit to Anderson Simmons. It's short. A throw to first, and that's the first out on the inning. A lot of action for Freddie Freeman so far in the middle infielders. This one's popped up to Jace Peterson. He will go back. He is under it, and he's got the second out on the inning, so the runner is not able to advance. It would be big to get out of this with no damage done. It's hit to Peterson. He takes his time, throws it to Freeman at first, and we are out of the inning. 
to the bottom of the third. Jace Peterson had a big hit his first time, and he's got his second already on the day, only into the third inning, as he really needs to turn it around, moving him into the leadoff spot. He might be that second baseman stopgap until Jose Peraza arrives. That is hit to center field. Under it is Carlos Gomez for the first out on the inning. Marquecas is up for the second time today. He hits that one to the shortstop to the second baseman, and that will end the inning a double play. And a nice job from Matt Garza to avoid any trouble. Now a 1-2 count. And they say Luke Roy broke his wrist. So that is a strikeout for Mike fulton -Evich. Matt Garza is up. He hits it to Juan Uribe. A routine play. But he airmails the throw. So Garza will go to second. Gomez will come up with a chance. Attack onto this lead. He hits it to Peterson. He throws it to Freeman at first. But Garza advances to third base. So with two outs, Gene Zagura is up. Pitches away. It's hit to right center field. Going back. It will get against the wall. Marquecas going back. Plays it slowly. Finally fires it in. But Segura will get to third with a two out triple. Brewers have another chance to tack on more points. Ryan Braun is up. 0-2 count. And that is high in the zone. He will pop that one up. Jace Peterson is under it. A routine play. And he's got it. For the final out of the inning, going to the bottom of the fifth. 0-0 oh, oh, count as Simmons will groove that one into left field. But Chris Davis is there for the first out on the inning. Going to the top of the sixth, Aramis Ramirez is up. This might be the final inning for Mike fulton -Evich. Throw quickly in, but Aramis Ramirez has a uh, single with no outs. Adam Lind up. Already has one RB on the day. That one is hit. Broken bat. Uribe to Freeman at first. For the first out on the inning. Scooter Gannett is up. And it is off the glove of Przinsky. And the throw will go to first. Not in time for anyone. A, not really sure what Przinsky was thinking there. But Gannett goes down swinging. A huge pitch for the second out on the inning. 1-2 count for Jonathan Lucroy. Man on third. And that one is aligned into right field. And the throw in is not in time. Freeman not covering first. So, Williams Perez will come in on his third game on the season. 0-1, a 5.4 ERA. Did start one game for the Braves. As he will try and shut down this inning. And Chris Davis misses on the changeup. That will end the inning. And the Brewers are not able to tack on any more runs. Cameron Maben up in the bottom of the sixth. 1-1 one, one count. And it's into right field. It bounces up onto the right fielder. So, a one-out single. 2-0 count for Nick Markakis. 0 for on the day. And he has his first hit. And that's a big one. So now runners at first and second with Freddie Freeman upcoming. Freeman hits it. And it goes to the second baseman. Flip to the shortstop. And not in time. As the double play is broken up. A poor throw from Segura. Juan Uribe is up with two outs. He hits that one into center field. Cameron Mabel will score the second run on the day. Once again, runners at first and second. Two outs for A.J. Brzezinski. Hasn't hit well so far this year. And Gannett can get to it for the final out of the inning. But now a two-run game. Matt Garza up as William Perez is still in the game. And that one is hit to the left fielder. Kelly Johnson throw in. But it is a single for the pitcher. Had a couple of those hard hit balls from the pitchers so far. Juan Uribe to second. And to first in time. We've got a double play. A huge play from Kelly Johnson to serve that up. As Roy Nieves will come on as a pinch hitter. In place of Williams Perez as his day is over. A 2-2 count with two outs. Pitches away. And the changeup makes Nieves look silly for the final out on the inning. But Cody Martin will come in. 17 appearances so far this year. A 3-7-9 ERA and 8 walks. 0-2 count to Ryan Braun. Pitches away. And what a slider from the rookie. Makes Braun, the veteran hitter, look silly up there. Now Adam Lend, who's played very well today, is up. He hits that one to center field. Going back is Maben. He is under it, and he's got the final out on the inning as we will head to the bottom of the eighth. Cameron Maben is up a 3-1 count. Big opportunity, but he grounds that one softly to Ramirez. Throw to first for Lynn, and that's the second out on the inning. 1-0 count for Nick Markakis. Pitch away from Garza, and it is popped up going back as Ramirez nearing the crowd, and he's got the final out on the inning. So we will head to the ninth with a two-run lead for the Brewers. Gannett is up. Cody Martin still in the game. And he gets him with a changeup. A nasty couple of pitches from the rookie. 2-0 count for Chris Davis. It's a hitter's count right now. And Simmons can't get to it. Kelly Johnson is on. 
He's got it, throws it into the infield, but the Brewers have something going in the top of the ninth. Para is on as the pinch hitter. He hits it, and Simmons is able to get to this one for the final out of the inning. Now, Francisco Rodriguez will come on 17 safe so far in the year. Second in the majors with that. He is pitching very well. 1-0 count to Freddie Freeman. He hits it to Lind, and that's the first out on the inning. Two more to go for Francisco Rodriguez. The Braves have got to get something going quickly. Uribe goes down a dirty curveball for the second out on the inning. So Brzezinski is up. An 0-0 count. First pitch swinging. It goes to Gannett. The throw to first is in time, and the Brewers will win this game 4-2. A big victory for them as they have really struggled so far on this year. Absolute gem from Matt Garza. We will now drop two games below 500. The outfielders celebrate for the Brewers, but I thought it was a pretty good start for Mike fulton -Evich. He pitched okay, definitely not bad. Five and two-thirds, six hits, and also struggled a little bit with his command, but I hope you did enjoy. If you did, please leave a like down below. Leave your comments on the game down below and Mike fulton debut. I will see you for episode eight, because I'm out.